Hello Aries, this is Sue from Sweet Love Tarot. I'm doing your uh, second half of October readings and I'm using the Good Tarot, which is it's a gigantic deck that I have to split in half in order to, to um, uh, shuffle. I can only shuffle a half of the deck at a time because they're just too big. But anyway, I've already done that, so I'm just cutting the deck. And a little freestyle reading here for Aries. I'm amazed. I am amazed. <laughs> okay. Um, you are winning right out of the chute. Um, Ace of Air. Uh, this is a card of victory. Your This would be the Ace of Swords in uh, the traditional deck. Uh, and the world. So um, this area where you are winning feels very complete to you. It feels whole. It feels like you've got everything wrapped up. And three of air is uh, where you recognize an, an area, or maybe maybe even with another person's help, recognizing an area that um, probably didn't serve you very well and was maybe hurting you. But here's another card of victory, six of air, or excuse me, six of earth. Um, so I would say that, that confirms your winning cycle, your uh, and plus here's the the seven of earth tells me that even though you may have come up against some opposition or some people trying to impose their will on you, they can't touch you. You you're logical mind has taken over, you feel whole, you feel complete, uh, and they can't touch you. you um, you've got it and you know it. You've all those stuff that, that stuff that didn't serve you in the past, that stuff uh, depression perhaps is you're leaving it behind now. Five of Earth. Okay, this is this is the would be the Five of Pentacles. So you've had some losses uh, recently, um, but you're putting that behind you now. You're at the end of a cycle of betrayal. Um, this is the Ten of Air. This is the end of a cycle. So, uh, like I said, you're putting this stuff behind you now, and you have love in your corner. Uh, this looks an awful lot like the strength card because that is a lion she's curled up with. But uh, anytime I see a card with like two towers or two pillars, it tells me that it's a it's a card of choice. It's a card of decision. Um, you can choose love now. You've been sort of um, holding back in, in that area. Ah. But no, you don't have to hold back anymore. <laughs> um, finally, uh, things are going your way and things are fair to you, completely fair to you. Um, ten of Water, that's the Ten of Cups. So yes, uh, this is extreme happiness uh, coming your way. And with the Ten of Fire, uh, there again, I see the end of the cycle of... Um, something that you felt you had to endure uh, that's coming to an end now 10 is the end so end of the cycle you've got uh, you, you also you have the 10 of air and the 10 of fire so you've got the end of betrayal and the end of um, what's the word I'm like stress and and fighting and it's it's this is this is what you have now the ten of cups the ultimate expression. Wow, three tens. Yeah, answer the call. Uh, the call is um, uh, I can't uh, not temperance, not justice. It's like rebirth, um, becoming your true authentic self. Uh, and the hangman is telling me that you're you're in a position now. You've seen things from a different perspective, and so you recognize now 
um, those things from the past that you thought you had lost, you realize that there's still a lot there for you. Yeah, and that's your call to rebirth, to be your authentic self. That's all you need to do. Be yourself. Okay, Aries, that's what I've got for you right now. And um, I hope you join me next time. Bye-bye.